Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. Today I'd like to go over the recent hotfix that CDPR has implemented on the game. Uh, across the board, every artifact got nerfed by anywhere between 1 and 3 provisions. And AoE buffing such as Fr Golden Froth and Zoltan Scoundrel also got nerfed. Uh, I'm not going to go individually into detail, but basically everything got nerfed uh, from these two areas. You're going to see a lot less artifact decks. Uh, very simply, even day one. This is the first day that it's been implemented, and I think I've seen two decks with artifacts in them. And even those two decks were Hound Snout decks that were running spears just to buff up their gray swords. Um, so n no Ethne artifact spam or monster artifact spam. None of that. It's gone. Uh, froth decks. I saw one Froth deck today with Lippy. So I, I still think Froth is a very strong card. Froth, for those of you who don't know, as you can see in the image right over here, uh, Golden Froth got nerfed from 9p to 13p. That's insane. 4p is monstrous. Um, to give you an idea, the deck that currently runs uh, Golden Froth is a Lippy Froth deck. I can actually pull up the list that I'm currently running right now. So this is what the list was looking like, something like this. The, the bronzes are a little weird, but this is what it was looking like. So with the changes to Golden Froth and Zoltan uh, Scoundrel, you can see my P cost went up by 11. That's insane. All right. Very simply, Golden Froth, two of those plus eight, right? Four on two, and then Zoltan Scoundrel plus three. So... The deck just got nerfed by 11p, which means you have to cycle out 11p worth of value out of your deck to keep playing the same kind of uh, deck if you want to. Uh, and that, that, that's pretty difficult to give you an idea what you'd have to do. Basically, you'd have to cut something like Royal Decree out of your deck, right? Which means you're losing consistency on Lippy. But what's even worse, you're not only losing a gold card, but you would have to put in another card. So we have one P to work with and we need to put in another card. I would have to sack, I don't know, uh, three five drops and substitute them with four drops to make up for the one card uh, difference. Basically, th these kinds of nerfs where you're hitting a card so hard like Froth, uh, they can not destroy the deck, but can severely weaken them. Uh, and this this is one example. So this is the main example with Golden Froth and Zoltan Scoundrel. Uh, another deck that was running both of those cards is like a Nilfgaard reveal list. So I don't think you're going to see reveal running Froth anymore. Maybe a one-of with Zoltan Scoundrel because the card's still pretty good. Um, I think Lip Lippy SK with Golden Froth is still going to be good. It's just not going to be broken. So... You'll still see a bit of that from time to time, just not as much. So if you were attacking in Geralt Erden, unless you're running into a lot of big monsters, which in theory should be the strongest deck in the game right now, uh, you, you might consider dropping Geralt Erden. Um, other note, artifacts. Artifacts got nerfed, so your ethne artifact list, you can still play them. It's still playable, it's still doable. Epidemic, Scorch, ethne, none of those cards were touched. So you could still play control decks, just once again, similar to the example I just showed you with Lippy Froth, you're going to have to cut out basically a gold card. So normally the deck was running two scale shields, two spears, Petri, two Petri's filters, two thunderbolts. Petri's filter and thunderbolt both got nerfed by one, I believe. Sorry, Petri's filter got nerfed by two. Woo. Okay. So, <laughs> yikes. So... Petri's Filter, Scale Shield, and Spear all got nerfed by 2p, right? So you're losing 12p there plus uh, two more p on Thunderbolt. So you're losing 14p. Uh, that's even worse than the 11p you were losing in Lippy. So <laughs> you could definitely still play it, but you're going to be at a massive disadvantage compared to what you were last time. Uh, I actually made an artifact deck. <laughs> this, this was the artifact deck I made... Eh, it's glitchy. Uh, I made an artifact deck the first day of the patch or hotfix. Um, as you can see, very different from before. There's no roach, so I don't have the roach burst. I had to cut the Petri's filter. I had to run a lot more bronzes. But the 
you could still run the spear, you could still run the thunderbolt, but it's much, much weaker. Um, I'm actually going to show you what happened when I queued into somebody who very much disliked an artifact deck. A hotfix made pumpkin hot. Yeah, I got a hotfix too. Hmm. <laughs> well, that hotfix did nothing. As you can see, that's what happens. <laughs> when people hate artifacts and they queue into someone running an artifact deck. Uh, would I have won that game? I don't know. My guess is my opponent didn't really want to play against another artifact deck, so he just saved some time and conceded. Uh, what's weird enough is artifacts were a little uh, bleh. artifacts were a little dicey in the past because artifact removal was so cheap, but now that they got severely nerfed, um, artifact removal is really good. But not a lot of people are going to be playing artifacts anymore, so. Other than maybe Frenzy Dow, I don't think you should really be running any artifact removal simply because it'll almost never get value. I think you'll probably queue into a full Ethne artifact removal list, maybe one in every 20 games. Uh, you might queue into like a Herald deck that runs a spear or two, but that's, that's nothing crazy. So if you want to keep the Frenzy Dow in your deck, you can do that. Uh, I wouldn't suggest any more than that. Uh, even the Frenzy Dow, you probably consider cutting unless you're queuing into a decent amount of herald uh so yeah we're gonna experience a very different meta i actually saw a uh a wounding sk deck today for the first time so that was really cool uh maybe we'll see more of that i also saw a swarm monster deck with glutzy warp that was i had never seen that so i'm very excited to see that um you're going to see a lot less control, a lot less slippy froth nonsense. Froth was just a silly card. It was too easy to pull off. You have Jermaine and Witchers. The two of those two cards combined uh, sets you up with five and three units. You have eight units. Uh, that's pretty easy to set up a froth. You play one more unit, you get 18 point froth. That's kind of nuts. Uh, froth was has been overtuned since the very beginning, so I'm, I'm glad they nerfed it. Uh, artifacts. I don't think this is the best change. I think it's a band-aid change in that it's a quick, easy solution uh, to drop the play rate of artifacts. And that's what CDPR wanted. The play rate of artifacts was too high and it was frustrating for players, both veteran players and new players. So making it more expensive, making it more difficult to play decks like this, uh, I think is a good thing. But I, I do think they should address artifacts in the future, in the December update at some point all right cool thank you thanks for watching uh if you have any disagreements or i don't know ideas of what they could have done better uh let me know in the comments below thanks for watching